Good morning, teachers. Um, I've had a lot of requests um, now that our progress reports are due about how we can print reports from inside Benchmark, um, specifically individual student reports that can be shared with students, uh, guardians, during your um, conferences. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen and I'm gonna walk you all through um, what that looks like. So first, if you get into Benchmark where you can log in with Clever, um, get into your Benchmark app. Next, what you wanna do is up here, you wanna choose reports. There's also a few other ways you can get there, but from directly your main screen, you can hit reports. If you've already been in Benchmark and you've been navigating from another section, you can always go to your hamburger menu. Now, I don't know if this is just my demo account, but um, oftentimes, um, lately, uh, the first prompt that comes up is, there's no data available, but you, you say to yourself, but I know I administered these assessments and my students turned them in. All you need to do is click right over here to assessments. For some reason, I don't know why, um, there's a glitch. So if you ever see that prompt and you get really scared for a moment, go on over to assessments and click that tab, okay? So this is what it shows you for the summary and then you'll wanna to go to assessments. And there, uh, you have all of these different op options to toggle through and create reports. Now, one particular report that I think is very useful as we're going into our uh, progress reports and our parent-teacher conferences is really uh, an average uh, summary uh, across each of these different domains, language, foundational skills, informational texts, and writing if you assigned the writing sections. So I click on average. It does sometimes take a while to load, but you'll see here is a summary of all my students. Now, granted, I don't actually have a class. These are pretend students, and I've gone in there and randomly guessed on two different uh, assessments. So this is what I've gotten from not even reading questions, but clicking through, okay? But what you wanna do now is when you do this, um, this shows an average score. Now, this is important to note. This isn't just a single test score. This is on, this is an overall average of all of the work that your students have done up until this point in benchmark. That would include weekly assessments, unit assessments, and well, our BIA was done in a different place, so that's not gonna be included. So, but everything you've assigned um, as an assessment through Benchmark is going to be averaged, okay? In my particular case, this is only over two assessments, um, if that makes sense. So you may have many, many more, um, and I know many of you do. So what you wanna do for this, this is the greatest part, uh, and this is new to Benchmark. If you just click right here under print, instead of, I, I don't know if you've done this, way back when we were in person the last time, you had to go in and click on student print, student print. You'd have to, it was, took nearly an hour or more to print just the report for every single student individually. Well, Benchmark, we, we complained to Benchmark and they answered. So now you have, uh, you have the option of printing one copy for you as a teacher that shows kind of exactly what's on my screen. For This is a great handy, Hey, I'm looking and I'm seeing an overall summary of every student in my class. But for parent-teacher conferences, you might want something tangible to give to your parents, um, a summary for each student um, and how they've done. So I'm gonna choose this and then print. Um, now you connect it to an actual printer or you can print as a PDF. Um, I'm just gonna show you what it, the documents look like. Um, and this is great. So I only have five students in my class, but it, turns up, so this is only gonna be a 10 page document, but what you can see for each student, it says it'll say your student name, my student's name, Pomona student, So, but this will actually be your student's name. Um, it says um, the test, or if it's multiple tests, it'll be over time. Um, and you will have uh, their average score, and then a summary of how they did on each one of the particular standards that were assessed. So this is language, uh, uh, reading for information, writing. So these are all um, uh, how the student did on each one of these. So, and then uh, you'll go to the next student. So it just, it batch prints all of 
your students' reports. And this would be a great something to send home. Um, you could do it in color that you think you want a parent to catch their eye, uh, if not, okay? So I'm not actually gonna print that because it's a pretend student. All right, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Um, and sorry if that was a weird transition, I paused it and tried to get my uh, page pulled up again, is um, just another way, instead of printing our student reports, what's another way that we can work with our uh, parents and parent-teacher conferences, um, especially since these are being conducted over Zoom this year? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share my screen again. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so remember, um, anytime uh, you're in your dashboard, uh, you could click directly on the benchmark advance, go to the hamburger menu, click on reports. You can also, like I said, in that initial um, dashboard is go um, ju just right up to reports. Again, we're not freaking out because it says no data available because we remember we have to click over to assessments. So something I thought would might be convenient for you to know is during your uh, Zoom parent teacher conferences, um, you can actually share screen with your parents to kind of talk through what each of these things mean. So instead of showing your overall class data, something you could do as you're sharing your screen <clears throat> is click, oops, back, is click over to student. Um, just, I would say, before you get logged in, so you're not sharing other students' data with the student that you're meeting, is pull up your, in which student you're gonna be meeting with at that time, okay? How you do that, remember, is you go over to roster, and here, uh, this will say your class. My name is Pomona class. Um, and then you'll select um, the name of the student who you're meeting with. So let's say uh, what Becky's parents are coming in. In my case, we'll call her Pomona student three. Make sure you unclick all the other students. Uh, sometimes it's best to just click all and then unclick all and then go in and individually select. If you have more than one student, you'll actually, the computer will take an average of how both of those students are doing so the data won't be um, accurate. So when you go ahead and apply, so I'm, we're looking at Pomona student four, I would always say like double check to make sure, again, that this is one student. If you've accidentally selected more than one student, it'll you'll get a message up here where it says student name as either, I don't actually, I actually don't, let's actually try it. Um, You'll see, let's say we, it might have something, oh, custom. So you've had a custom selection. If your student name is not custom, that means you've uh, selected more than one student. So again, we were looking at Pomona student four. So again, so you could share this screen with your parents and really, so now we know that everything we're clicking through and talking about is very specific to Pomona student four or your individual student. So you can talk through here. Well, it looks like uh, your student is excelling in language. You could click on language, and I've only taken one assessment, um, but this would show all of the assessments. So if you've given four, you can see how the student has done over time. With it'll have multiple blips on here. You can actually uh, you can actually click on it. You can say this is how it was assessed. This student got 55%. It'll actually even compare. Say you know this student. Um, uh, had 55, but my class average is 58. So you can kind of compare if you want um, to other students in your class, other students in your school. Um, now there's very few classes in each grade level, but if you had a bigger school, that might be applicable. And then comparing your student across the district. You don't want parents to see that. We'll just go ahead and unclick, click compare, all right? Maybe you want them just to be compared with the district, okay? When you click on that dot, it'll show you how it was assessed and that, and for that particular score. You'll have multiples, you can click on that. Okay, remember we're here um, clicking through. So then it looks like, and again, my students were random guessers, um, but it looks like reading informational text is a lower, uh, is a challenge, a, a bigger challenge for my Pomona student four. So when you're talking with your parents, you might uh, say, you know, you see uh, really most of the questions our students, uh, or this particular student didn't master. These are all the ways it's been assessed. And you can see that in this assessment, your student got 28% when compared to the district, which is averaging at 46%. Again, you can take that off so it just shows your student uh, the percentage that they showed 
on each one of these uh, to get this overall average across multiple tests. You can do this with writing, reading foundational skills. Again, um, this is just a great way to share via Zoom, kind of just what I'm doing with you as well, talking through. Ask parents, do you have any questions? All right, let's see how they did on different tests individually. So maybe you wanna say, hey, if you see, our, your, this student got 80% of all the tests, but then this one, it appears that your student completely bombed, okay? So you're, you could talk through this with parents. So um, again, uh, this is Pomona student, uh, Pomona student four, but again, it's showing that this student on this test got a 34. And these are the questions the student got right. Um, and it's showing individual. So these are all the questions they got right or wrong. If there was a constructed response, in this case, it was this one, a writing standard, um, it'll show the results right here. So again, if you really uh, want to share like, hey, this is why your student has a 0% on this standard, it's because they missed all three of the questions that covered this particular standard. Again, I don't know, probably you wouldn't go into this much detail about every assessment that you've given with parents, but um, in the particular case, maybe even with an SST, and you're trying to, you have the need to talk through those, um, I would encourage you just to do it on Zoom and sharing your screen rather than have to print all of these things, okay? So again, that's my, brief but it's actually not so brief uh, exclamation explanation again um of the two different ways that we can provide uh, assessment reports for parents the first is oops picking all of my students apply go to standards performance overview performance over time oops and then remember if we press print we're selecting, oh no, oops, Just forgive me. I wanna undo this one, average, sorry. Print individual reports for all students. And that's where we're gonna get those summaries on each of the language standards, okay? There you go. Hope you're all having a great week. I hope this helps um, give you something to talk about with your parents for your parent-teacher conferences. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, take care.